Hi everyone, Ramadan Mubarak to everyone who is fasting. Today I am making a simple recipe. I'll be making cabbage and sana dal bazi. These are the following ingredients you will need. Half a cup of sana dal, which I will boil. Two onions sliced. Few green chilies cut in half. Three tablespoons of oil. Two cubes of frozen garlic. You can use four cloves of fresh garlic. One teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoon of salt, one cabbage sliced, and at the end we'll be adding coriander. This is a very simple and easy recipe. You can eat it with tortilla wrap, paratha, rice, or by itself. So everybody, let's get started. I'm going to put the sana dal in the pot. Add water about four cups of water. Put the sana dal on medium heat for about 15 minutes. Give it a stir every five minutes. Now I'm going to start on the cabbage while this is getting done. I need a deep pan with a lid. I'm going to put the oil in. Let it heat up. Add the garlic in. Continue stirring the garlic until it's golden brown. The garlic is frozen brown now and I'm going to add the onion and the salt. Give it a good stir and leave on medium heat for about 10 minutes with the lid on. Just to show you the sanadine, it does froth up the water. So the trick of that is leave a wooden spoon in so the water doesn't evaporate and fall on your cooker. Stir it often as well. Now I'm going to add the chilies. Give it a stir and I will leave it for a few minutes with the lid on. Now I'm going to add the spices in. Give it a good stir. Add a little bit of water to soften the lid. About a tablespoon. Give it a mix and I will leave it for a few minutes. Now I'm going to add the cabbage in and the trick of that is to add a small amount at a time and stir it because the cabbage shrinks. Put the heat on lower than medium while you're doing this. Just continue doing that until you've used all the cabbage. Now put the lid on and check regularly. In five minutes, I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the cabbage, about two tablespoons, and give it a stir, and I will leave it in for another ten minutes with the lid on. These are ready, and I'm just going to put it in the colander now, and let the water drain. Just drain the sana dal and put it on the plate. Just a little bit of info on the sana dal. If you want the sana dal to be softer, you can boil it for longer. Um, I boil it to um, a moderate level, so it's not too hard and not too soft. And I put it in the cabbage and I leave it in for a little longer. So now I'm going to add the sana dal. Give it a good mix and leave it for 10 minutes, stir often. Add coriander on top, give it a mix. It's all done and it looks good. We're going to eat it for iftar today with paratha. Iftar is all ready, we have 10 minutes to go. I hope everybody has a lovely Iftar.